Did you ever wonder why there was so much violence in the world? Are we destined to always be violent? Can humans ever obtain peace? What can our society look forward to in the future? Most animals of the world have two basic survival instincts, fight or flight. These instincts are in place for self-preservation, and humans are no different. Our most primitive ancestors were constantly on the alert for danger. One day, two cavemen were searching for food on the plains of Africa. One caveman was very smart hmm. and contemplated every situation with logic and rationality. Ah. The other caveman was very dumb and never gave a second thought to anything of importance. <laughs> Although dumb caveman was indeed very dumb, he did have an advantage. He was the biggest, strongest caveman of the tribe. <gasps> the two cavemen rushed back to their tribe to explain what they found. But Smart Caveman had a plan. Smart Caveman's idea was a success. With teamwork, the use of weapons, and a plan, the caveman defeated the fearsome saber-toothed tiger. Yay! But now, there was a new problem amongst the cave people. Dumb Caveman became very jealous of all the praise and attention Smart Caveman was receiving. Dumb Caveman's ego, his sense of self-importance, felt diminished and threatened. <laughs> Big strong dumb caveman was very happy knowing his leadership was dependent on his ability to beat up his caveman brethren. The perception of security and confidence awarded dumb cavemen the hottest of cave chicks. Intelligence and rationality were pushed aside, putting dumb cavemen first in line for procreation, creating many, many dumb little cave babies. <laughs> this process has been repeating itself for millions of years. Eventually, those cave people became us. Although there are nearly two million years between us and early humankind, the grip of the ego is exceedingly strong, even today. <laughs> 